14 minutes past 6 o'clock. Good morning to you. The sports news follows in about 7 minutes. All right. Right now, however, let's cross over to Peter and Dora for what's happening on the business front. Good morning to you, Peter. Good morning and uh, welcome to everyone. It's, uh, as you say, so 14 minutes past 6, 15 minutes past 6. Time to take a look at some big issues. And today, well, with a huge housing backlog in South Africa, the government needs all the help that it can get from the private sector to deliver on the provision of affordable housing. And St. Uh, Gobain Jiprock has uh, come up with a, an innovative method that uses environmentally friendly materials to build low-cost housing. The company says... Uh, that its method is set to revolutionize the industry and also create jobs. Morning Live business producer Solomon Zintuli takes a closer look. St. Cobb and Jeeprock has launched pilot housing projects to build 90 groundbreaking houses for South Africans currently living in informal settlements. Three provinces, the Western Cape, Free State and Gauteng, have already benefited from the project. The company says as it worked through the project, it will invite its industry partners to join in in order to build more houses than the original 90 that are planned in more areas and intend to make as much impact as possible. The environmentally friendly houses are built using mainly energy conserving rhinoports for all interior lining applications. Those who have benefited say their lives have changed for the better after they receive keys to their new houses for free. I am I'm very happy. My kids are also excited because it's like we were living in an open field. We were living in a shack with holes. When it rains, we would get soaked together with my kids and hope it would stop raining so we can hang our clothes in the sun to go dry. Eighty-four-year-old Elizabeth Zonde says... She is grateful of a home after a long wait for the government RDP house, which she applied for back in 1994. I was staying in the shed that side, and then I've got this house. Now my life has changed because I've got a, a house now, no more a shed. I feel very happy, and I can't tell how I am happy. The company says it is planning to expand the pilot project to Wazul Natal by July, while still engaging with government to come on board. Solomon Zinduli, SAPC News, Deep Slot.